In this video, I'll be walking through some things pointed out in the whole set counterfeit prevention guide uh, as ways of helping you to identify a true whole set turbo uh, and also to show you a few other things and hopefully dispel the myth that whole set turbos are not made in China because they are. Okay, so the first thing that the counterfeit prevention guide spells out is the actual serial number plate. And here, if we look at that serial number plate, you'll actually see a serial number that begins with W. Now the W is indicative of the China factory where this was produced. You'll also see on the whole set box that the turbo comes shipped in the corresponding serial number. Right, that, that's a step that most counterfeiters will not want to take. There's a lot of effort involved in matching the packaging to a turbo uh, serial number. And another thing, um, a lot of counterfeiters from what I've read, will actually reuse the same serial number on their turbos because, again, it would take additional effort and an additional process to sequence those serial numbers. Okay, next, the counterfeit prevention guide talks about the compressor nut. And you'll see it's not just a simple nut. Uh, also, the struts in here holding this in, the bridge there, you'll see it's not flat. It's not just machined flat, it's actually curved to it, or it has a curve to it. Okay, so let's take a look at the wastegate bracket. Turn this on its side here. Okay, so if we take a look at the bracketry, you, one thing that will stand out are washers on the bracket. You'll see that the wastegate arm, it's not just machined flat, it's actually tapered down. And of course, if you look at the quality of the machining here where the bracket is affixed to the turbine housing, uh, you can see it's not really an afterthought. If you look at some of the pictures in the prevention guide and you really take a close look at how that the bracket is put on the turbo, uh, you'll get an idea of what I'm, what I'm talking about there. Notice the crimp style clamp on the turbo wastegate and there's a lack of a hole in the wastegate there. You'll see in the counterfeit guide that uh, a lot of them will actually have a, uh, a hole down here and uh, of course this one does not. Okay, so next it uh, talks about the oil seal plate retaining ring, and uh, I can't show you that here with the turbo together, but let's go ahead and look at the compressor housing retaining ring. Okay, so here we can see the housing retaining ring, and the difference with the whole sets here is uh, one of them is the um, ends of the ring face up, right? You can use a pair of channel locks or something to get those off. Um, also, again, the, the clamp is in, so you can't see it, but uh, it's not a machined face on that ring or edge. And again, the counterfeit prevention guide will show you a picture of what that looks like. So lastly, we have the actual screws holding the, um, the compressor housing or the turbine housing on. Right, and those, once again, are consistent with uh, the genuine turbos outlined in the prevention guide. So one other thing I want to talk about here is branding, right? Look at the uh, whole set trademark name in the turbine housing. And if we roll this over, you can obviously see it in the compressor housing. Now, Cummins has won a major lawsuit, uh, actually I'm sure more than one, um, against counterfeiters for using their trademark. That's why if you go on eBay or Amazon, you'll see a lot of, in this case, HX30s. But you don't see a lot of whole set HX30s with the trademark name put into the turbo casting itself. So even in China, they're starting to crack down on uh, trademark violations. And that's why Cummins has won those lawsuits. The movement is really to not, not counterfeit with a brand name in there. The knockoffs do not have that. 
Okay, so let's talk about packaging, right? So I already mentioned the serial number is on the box. It matches the turbo. It's a genuine whole set box. You'll see the whole set taping is used. So when I get these and I ship these out, I usually open the box. I'll throw fittings in or extra gaskets. Um, inside the box, you'll see a pamphlet and usually a gasket is pretty beat up by the time it gets to us. So I usually throw a new one in. You'll see an inspection card inside. Again, it's labeled genuine. The turbos come wrapped in a bag and they are also um, marked with a whole set branded tape. So we want to thank you for watching. We hope that this helps you build confidence in not only how to identify knockoff or fake whole set turbos, but also to build confidence when you purchase from us that we're doing everything within our power to make sure that we are selling legitimate and genuine product. Thank you for watching.